How do actors remember thousands of lines word for word, scene after scene, without a single prompt? The answer isn't just natural talent, it's a technique. And what they use on stage, you can use for exams, speeches, memory training. Even Sherlock Holmes would have approved. After all, he never could quite resist a touch of the dramatic. Actors rely on something called contextual encoding. That means they don't just memorize words, they memorize movement, emotion, tone, and location tied to those words. Science shows this activates multiple areas of the brain. The hippocampus for memory formation, motor cortex for physical movement, the emotional centers for meaning and recall. It's multi-sensory memory and it's powerful. Actors don't memorize scripts line by line. They memorize intention, then let the lines follow. They ask, what am I feeling here? What do I want from the other person? What does this moment mean? The words become easy when the story becomes real. Here's where it gets Holmesian. In many stories, Holmes doesn't just know facts. He reconstructs them like a scene in his mind. He's attaching emotion, structure, even spatial memory, exactly like an actor. He's not memorizing raw data. He's performing it mentally. Holmes, like a great actor, builds a mental stage, then walks through it with precision. So what can you learn from this? If you need to memorize, visualize the scene. Don't learn in a vacuum. Set a stage in your mind. Feel the intention as best you can. Make the information meaningful to you, either within the context or using one of the methods to make it weird. Move with it. Walk. Gesture. Speak out loud. Engage your body, not just your brain. That's how actors remember pages and pages of dialogue and how you can remember anything that matters. Your brain isn't a filing cabinet. It's theatre. So stop cramming and start rehearsing. Memory isn't passive. It's performance.